Hi everybody, welcome to Milgat Farms. We are Virginia's only organic maple syrup farm located in the western part of Virginia in a town called Monterey, Virginia. I said that twice. Hi guys, welcome to Milgat Farms. It's beautiful out here in the middle of nowhere. If you've never been to our channel, we are Virginia's only organic maple syrup farm. In addition to doing maple syrup, we also do, uh, we raise chickens, we raise turkeys, we have a few ducks that make some not really good eggs for us. We have egg layers and we have some cattle. We also have a B&B here on the farm, so if you ever want to come out and stay, go to milgotfarms.com and check it out. Today we're building a chicken tractor because we've got a whole lot of chickens in the barn and not enough space on the pasture. So instead of using netting or and possibly losing some animals, we're going to build a chicken tractor. Let me show you what we're going to do. So this is a chicken tractor that we're going to build today, and it's not going to be terribly hard. What we're going to do is leave information on our website at milgotfarms.com backslash chicken tractor. And you'll be able to go there and look at the materials list. If I can figure out a way to put it on there as a PDF, I'll do it. But it most likely will be on there as a, just a list. Um, there's some things that I did today when I built this and I'm gonna take you through the whole build. I think this is a pretty simple. It's very efficient as far as the amount of material that you're gonna use. Um, this design is a blend between a uh, design that I did uh, based on a Salatin design um, and then um, my friend Jesse built one and so I took his ideas and my ideas put them all together And this is where we landed. So this came out pretty pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it We have two more of these to build on the farm We do have maybe one or two modifications we'll make to it, but we'll discuss that towards the end So in this video guys, we're gonna be doing the short version of this tractor build We have an extended version that we'll put in the description below that will show you more details about how we did it and all the steps and the processes including me and my kids helping out which was a whole lot of fun what a great project for for the kids and i to do our together so come along let me show you how it worked out face on that one.
So here we are guys, we're almost finished with this thing. We've got a little bit of trim to put up. I don't have the trim here, I'm gonna have to make that trim. And you can see right here where we put some white duct tape and there's some gray duct tape on the other side. Um, we wanna cover up those edges and also we're gonna seal up this little air right here. Now that might be okay during, during the summer months here, but when we get closer to the fall, that's really gonna give the animals a little bit of a chill in the evenings. I like how this went together. Um, you probably may not recognize this plastic stuff right here. It's kind of like Tyvek. Um, it's white on one side. You can look at it from the inside. And then it's black on the other. Uh, we put the black side out. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's not going to absorb heat. I can tell you that. It's nothing. It, it may absorb some heat, but it's certainly not going to hold any heat because it's so thin. So I like the Salatin designs. I mean, I love the idea of a portable pen. It is amazing. Um, we don't lose animals this way. They get fresh forage every day and fresh, clean water. Um, but what I didn't like about the Salatin one was how they moved it, because they got to walk around this wheel thing. Now, their version is probably a little bit more efficient on materials when you think about the wheels that you'd have to add to each one of the tractors like we have, but the convenience of it is pretty cool. So here's what I like about our design versus theirs. Now, when you move theirs, you gotta put a set of wheels on the back side, pop it up, and then you gotta walk around the front side, and then you gotta put, grab this cable or wire on the bottom and lift it up and move it. I mean, it works, and I'm sure they're using like um, some wire from fencing that that's left over, and that's good, good use of material. Um, I think this is a neat design right here in that when I want to move it, all I do is just pick it up. Here we go. It's pretty easy. Um, also, what you can do is you, some of my tractors have latches at the bottom, but because this is weighted with wire, it just, it stays down. It's not going to, it's not going to come up. Um, nothing's going to get in there. Some of the tractors have little latches on them and that's nice. I don't need it. It works pretty well. What we can do is we can flip it up. Now, the only thing that's open is just this section here. You can't see me. <laughs> it's just this section right here. And if I have to get in there to get a bird with, prior to processing, I can do it. Think about this as a temporary structure. So this is only going to last, I don't know, five years. If I get five years out of this thing, I will probably put a couple of thousand birds through it. I think I'm going to be okay. So most everything on this project was something that I had to buy, such as the chicken wire, the hinges, and the two by three. We use two by threes in this project because they're lighter. Now you can use two by fours, it'll probably last longer, but I know that this is a temporary project for me. So five years is, is, my, is my goal for the length of the, the time we're gonna have it. You know, if it doesn't work, no harm, no foul, pull my screws back out, use them on another project. That is some used metal from a project that Tom Holmes, one of our neighbors and subscribers, dropped off to us. And we were able to build this tractor with just one sheet. We have two more sheets and we got two more tractors. So that's going to work out really well. You are full. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of green. That's a lot of green. You can see they're enjoying the pen. Um, this has worked out really well. The video that you just watched is the short version of this chicken tractor build. If you'd like to see the full version, just click the link below in the description, or I might be able to get it right here if I can work that out with the cards. <laughs> so if I can't, it's in the description. So in that video, I go into a little more detail as to why I built it the way I built it. You get to see the entire build. My kids even help out. It's a good video. It is a little bit longer. You'll see some of the clips from this video in it, but certainly extended clips as well. I'd like to say thank you guys for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Consider giving us a thumbs up. It really means a lot to us, but you know what means the most? And that is your comments. We really appreciate your comments. They're very, very helpful. We're fairly new to farming. Um, on this farm, we've been here about six years and we're not quite six years. We're close to it though. Uh, and we don't know everything. Every day we learn something new, and every day something different is happening on this farm. We absolutely love it. We do love it out here in the middle of nowhere, convenient to nothing. Consider visiting sometimes. 
go to millgatfarms.com. We have a B&B &B here on the farm. Or if you want to try some of our delicious maple syrup, there's where you'll find it. In an upcoming video, we're going to show you how to make one of these chicken waterers. They're really simple and they're pretty easy to make too. Thanks again for watching our videos. And until next time, God bless you guys. All right, gobble gobbles. Eat up. Mmm. Mmm. What are you doing, buddy? Don't bite me. Let me show you where we live, guys. This is it. This is our valley. It is really pretty here. Right over there, that's our eggmobile. That's a kid's trampoline. Here's some chickens. The chicken tracks we just built. Old chicken tractor. Another chicken tractor. With turkeys in it. And more chickens. And up there is our sugar, sugar bush.